Thomasina from a British Bunny. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in quite a festive mood at the moment, so I thought I would do for you today my current makeup favourites. Everything is from the drugstore and costs under a tenner, I think. But I will put links for everything down below, um, so do check it out. But it's just everything I've been loving recently. It's great for autumn, winter, great for Christmas coming up, great for parties, and just festive, cheap and cheerful options. The first thing I'm going to start off with is my base. Um, there's two things I've recently taken up with, and they are both from Sleek, and actually they have straight away gone into my current favourites. I wear them pretty much every day. Um, the first thing is the Sleek Corrector and Concealer Palette and I have got palette number two. This is so great for dark circles, it's not even funny. In it you get your concealer, your corrector, which I don't actually use because the colour is way too dark for my skin, and you get your powder, which is so good for setting your concealer so it doesn't move. This is just absolutely brilliant for dark circles. It just really like blots out any dark colours. The only thing I would say is it's quite a cakey consistency. Um, so if you were applying your makeup outside in the cold, this would go on really, really badly. It needs to be warmed up so it can be used. Um, so I put it on and then I buff it in with my Real technique. I think it's the Crease Shadow Brush, but I use it for this concealer and it just works really, really well with the powder over the top, stays all day. My second thing is also from Sleek. I'm a bit late off the bandwagon for this and it is the contour face contour kit and I got mine in light. Lord, this has changed my life. Um, this obviously is the contour and use it on your cheekbones. I use it with a MAC wannabe brush that has a bit of an angle, like a bit of a slant to it. Um, it's so good, like you can go a bit OTT with it because although it's What's the colour? Although it's light, it's actually quite a dark shade. Um, but it's so nice and it really works. And the highlight's just really nice to be pressed into the kind of C along the top of your cheekbones and up through your eyeball socket thing. It does take a bit of work actually trying to buff it in. But once you've done it, I think the effect is so good. I definitely need a bit more practice. Um, but for someone like me who's got a moon face, this really adds definition, so I would definitely recommend this to anyone who hasn't done contouring, that kind of thing before. It's brilliant. The next thing I have been loving is a bit of a cheapskate one, actually. Um, it is a blush from MUA. I'm not a massive blush girl, but to be honest, this has changed my life. Um, it is the MUA blusher in Candy Floss. I picked this one up ages ago as well, and I really like it. I don't know how well it's translating on camera. But it's a slightly plummy pink, like it's not a bright pink, it's a bit of a plum toned, slightly purpley pink. Oh lord. It's so nice and it's so easy to work with. So I apply it onto my cheeks with my Real Techniques contour brush. I'm not sure if this is the right brush to use but it works for me. It does have the tiniest bit of shimmer to it. When I first got it, because obviously now I've kind of used it a lot, the top layer was so shimmery. And I thought I wouldn't like it, but actually, once you've used off the top layer, the shimmer really dies down. It's actually kind of quite a matte colour. I just love it. It's so nice, so blendable, and it's just a perfect autumny, plummy blush. And I think this cost me a pound. Thank you, MUA. The next thing I'm going to talk about is eyes. I literally cannot love anything more than a smoky eye. I don't really film with them too often because I find on my camera they come across quite badly. And I actually went on a makeup course recently and we were allowed to play around with the products they had and but they had MAC Cranberry there and oh my god that colour is so beautiful. But as a bit of a cheapskate I flat out refuse to pay £15 for a pot of eyeshadow that's this big. So I've kind of been on a drugstore hunt to find a dupe and I think I've actually found some quite good colours in some amazing palettes. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Sleek Storm palette number 578. This I actually had a while ago and I absolutely love it. It is such a nice, if I can open it, such a nice range of kind of autumnal colours. I especially love this really matte, slightly darker than skin tone colour, which looks great in autumn winter. And this colour, this colour here is a MAC Cranberry wannabe. It's a bit redder I would say than cranberry but it's so 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 nice and it's got a bit of shimmer to it there's some matte shades there's some um, shimmer shades and they're really autumnal kind of foresty Christmassy 
all to me amazing colours. And I can't remember how much this was, but it was either £8 or £12. So it wasn't like a break the bank. The quality of them is really good. The matte colours are actually really nice and buttery. And the glitter colours don't have too much fallout, so they're brilliant. And I love these. Well done, sleek. The next palette I bought recently, and I obsessed with, I actually am wearing it on my eyes at the moment, it's become my new day to day palette, is a palette from Rimmel and it is called Brixton Brown and it has these shades in it. I'm going to be honest with you, I only bought it because of this shade in the middle which I also think is a slight cranberry dupe. Um, between this shade and the one I just showed you in the sleep palette, I think cranberry's in the middle. But this is such a nice palette. I'm currently wearing the highlight shade and the dark brown on my eyes. And it's such a good, versatile little palette. I think it costs about £7. It's such a bargain. Obviously, because it's Rimmel, the quality is amazing. Um, I just love it. I just think it's such a good autumn, winter, glam eyes palette. The amount of different looks you can make out of this is just incredible. I love it. Next thing I have been loving, especially for a smoky eye, is... This probably won't be any surprise, because I bang on about the other one all the time. Is the Maybelline 24 Hour Colour Tattoo in... What colour is this? Metallic Pomegranate! Hmm. Is this another cranberry wannabe? I freaking love this. The colour is beautiful. It's a really pinky, purpley slightly blacky colour and it looks so nice as a base for an autumnal winter smoky eye. It's really really nice. Obviously as it's a colour tattoo we know that it'll stay forever and you can also use it as a base for other colours. I love like a brown brownie autumnal smoky eye and this pencil I picked up ages ago at the start of the year I think. It's the Rimmel Scandalised Eyeshadow Stick and it is in Bad Girl Bronze. I've literally used so much of it up, you can't even really see. It's just a really nice russety brown and it's really creamy and it goes on so nicely. And I've actually been using this as a base, so kind of putting it over my eyelids, like buffing it in, smudging it out, and then using it to put other shadows over the top. It's so, so nice. It's really autumnal, slightly goldy, browny, russety, autumn leafy colour. And it's lovely. It also looks so good smudged in your waterline. The only thing is they're really hard to sharpen because it's such a big pencil. How do you sharpen that? My final thing has to be lips. In winter I'm so happy just to wear mascara and a dark lip and there are some really really good colours out and about at the moment. So my first favourite, what I'm wearing as an underlayer at the moment is this colour and it's Rimmel and it has a really weird name. So it's Dark Night Water, Water Look, oops! It's from their new Moisture Renew range and it is delicious. It's dark but it actually has quite a bright undertone to it so it's not too dark. I think mine looks a lot brighter on camera than it does in real life. Today I thought I'd go a bit more vampy so not only did I wear my dark night water, oops, I also topped it up with a bit of another one of my favourite, favourite autumn lipstick which is Topshop Depth. God this is so beautiful. I mean it looks black but it's just such a nice dark purple and blended in with dark night water loops which I'll try and do here. So that's water loops on the bottom, that's Topshop Depth on top and it's just such a good staple colour. I also love this colour over a dark red, it really just kind of just makes a really interesting autumnal Christmas colour, it's so nice. It's a really thick consistency, it doesn't glide on, you kind of have to buff it through. Um, but it's really, really nice. I love it. And thinks it's about tenner. So it's probably at the more expensive end of the range. But it's definitely worth investing for your autumn, winter, forever lipsticks. I love it. My most recent lipstick purchase and one that I am obsessed with. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. There's been a lot of hype. So I went and swatched it in the shop and I just, like, in boots and I just had to have it. And it is this one. It's Revlon Black Cherry. This is possibly one of the... I think this is the only Revlon product I actually own, which is weird, um, and this is just in between the two, I would say, in between depth and water loops. It's a kind of reddy brown rather than a purpley brown. Um, it's so delicious. It's so nice, and it's a really good consistency. Bloody should be for a amount of money it cost me. It cost me about £7.50, which I thought was a bit, a bit expensive, but it's so nice. It's gone straight into my top three. Um, autumn winter lipsticks and I love it. Definitely invest. If you're looking for a dark red 
or like a kind of brownie. It's just beautiful. And final favourite is a classic. I think it's the only MAC lipstick that I own. Don't hate me. And it is one that I've never heard anyone else talk about. Like, I love it. It's De Bonnet and it's a matte blood red. Like it's a really brownie red. It honestly is the colour of blood in real life. Um, I'm not sure how it looks on camera. Let's, let's swatch it. It's this one. It looks really pink on camera. I'm really baffled by that. It's really brownie red. But definitely, it's just so over underrated. Like, I've never heard anyone mention it. The smell is just vanilla-y deliciousness. Um, so definitely, if you guys are looking for a classic dark red lipstick, please go check out Dubonnet. It's spelled D-U-B-O-N-N-E-T, and it is such a nice lipstick. And I just think it needs a bit, needs a bit of um, recognition because it's beautiful. This, with a bit of depth over the top in the autumn winter, is just insane. Such an amazing combination. Thank you so much for watching. I'm getting a new camera soon, so hopefully video quality should go up and up and up. I hope you enjoyed my video. Let me know what you think about the products I've chosen underneath, and if you've got any good recommendations, that would be amazing. I hope you all have an amazing kind of Christmas week that's coming up. Good festive parties. Get drunk. Don't snog your boss. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!